In this very rudimentary video, I'm going to walk you through the steps that you need to ensure your phone is configured properly to both preserve battery life and ensure your data roaming is configured correctly. What I'll do is I'll begin by taking this phone and ensure I just turn the power screen on. I slide my lock bar down and it brings me to the main page on the device. The first step that I need to do is open in the market. I simply choose the menu button and then it opens up all programs and then I will choose the app called market. When market first loads it tells me that I need a Gmail account. If you already have a Gmail account or you've actually been into the market previously you can obviously bypass this as it will take you directly into um, the market or in this case I need to add a new Gmail account if I don't have one. I can simply press next here. It's saying do you have a Gmail account is the first option. It's actually prompting me create or sign in. I'll choose create a Gmail account. I simply press my name. So if this case I'm going to use my first name is test. My last name is test. And my user ID that I want to choose is test. Now that's test at gmail.com. Obviously that probably isn't available but either way I can press done it will then bring the whole screen up and I have an option at the bottom to choose next. I choose next, it's going to talk to the internet. Through its internet connection it's talking to the Gmail servers to see if that's available. In this case it tells me that test is already um, test actually contains less than six or more than thirty characters so I can't choose it but it gives me some alternatives down here which in this case test t test 826 that's fine I'll choose that top one and it now gives me the option to choose next obviously you want to know your Gmail username and password because this truly is a Gmail or a Google account. I can type in a password in this case I'm just going to type in summit and here's my password too short it's got to be a minimum of eight characters so I'll type in summit 1101 and a password of summit 1101 and click next it's asking me then for a security question the default is favorite food, but I can have favorite food, city of birth, it doesn't really matter. Favorite food, we'll put in here and just say sushi. I don't know if that's really a food, but we'll try it here. And the next line is actually a secondary email. I don't have to put one in. I can simply click done. It's now giving me the ability to hit create. When I hit create, it's going to go to Google's terms of service. It will then ask me to accept. Google's Terms of Service, which I then click Agree Next. It's then asking me to type in a CAPTCHA data, which is to ensure that you're not a computer trying to do this. So I have to distinguish these letters and type them in. Um, in this case, I believe it is D E S T I L. Hit Done and hit Next. It's now activated my Google account and asking if I want to back up my data. I'm perfectly fine with that, so I'll click Next. And it says this Google account is now linked to this phone. I can now hit the button that says Finish Setup. It now takes me into the Android Market Terms of Service. When this opens, we simply set Accept, and it takes us to the Android Market. 